Hey, what is up? Julian Rosen here, head coach at Bake Up Wealthy. And in today's lesson, you're gonna learn the hidden cause of self-doubt so you can remove it. And you'll also be surprised because the cause of self-doubt is also suppressing your masculinity. So, the V word, validation. You may not think that this is the cause of self-doubt. You may not think that this, this concept is taking a lot from you in terms of happiness, inner peace, productivity, money, earning potential, opportunity cost, but stick with me because you'll see that it's actually the cause of a lot of problems. And actually, if you're watching this, it's also suppressing your masculinity. And we'll talk about that in a second. But Let's talk about it. Let's talk about self-doubt real quick, right? No one likes it, but it's there, right? It doesn't matter who you are, what level you're at. It sneaks in, right? It sneaks in from time to time. For some of us, it's there all the time. And if that's the case, go to wakeupwealthy.com. There's a bunch of free trainings and uh, meditations to help you eradicate self-doubt. But validation and self-doubt go hand in hand because when you find yourself in a doubtful situation, when you find yourself heading into a situation or a scenario, uh, where you start to feel that self-doubt. We all feel it in our body somewhere. Maybe it's in your gut, maybe it's in your solar plexus, maybe it's in your heart, your chest. We all feel it somewhere, right? Self-doubt, when you think about it, you're heading into a situation where you have the potential to earn or lose validation or else you wouldn't care at all. You really wouldn't care at all, right? So when you think about, for me, for example, when I used to head into sales calls with potential clients, I would, I would go through doubt. I would go through doubt. And doubt and anxiety go hand in hand. I would go through self-doubt. And guess what? When I was experiencing self-doubt, how I came across on my sales calls was it sucked. I was all over the place. I was st st stuttering. I was walking, talking too fast. I was, uh, I was uncomfortable challenging their, their objections, all that stuff. Because really, why? Because I was attached to the outcome. I was attached to the validation that I might get when they said yes, right? The validation that I have more money, the validation that, look, I am a good coach. This person said yes to me, yay. It was about me. It was about me in, in, in validation. And as a result, I, my performance suffered. My mental health suffered. And when your mental health suffers, guess what? We, we numb, we distract, we fall into bad habits and patterns. So I would watch more TV and eat more shitty food. I would drink more often than I should. And then guess what? And then my wife had to deal with me when I was feeling sorry for myself and feeling guilty and beating myself up for watching TV and drinking too much, right? Like this shit impacts everybody around us, not just you. So think about validation. A lot of men in business, we, our business is our greatest source of validation and that can be a big fucking problem. Because again, validation is like any drug. If you're addicted to it, you're attached to it. If you're attached to it, you're gonna worry about it not being there or it not being there in enough quantities. Now you're attached and you're worrying. So self-doubt and validation go hand in hand. Self-doubt, anxiety, and validation go hand in hand. So think about this though. Think about this. What if you just didn't, what if you were good? What if you were going to be absolutely A-OK, -okay, safe, secure, happy, and healthy, whether or not you got the thing that gives you validation. For some of us, it's social approval. For some of us, it's, it's, it's you know, people perceiving us a certain way on social media, making sure people know how cool and important we are, right? We're all guilty of that, right? Where does your validation come from? For some of us, it's how we look, it's our body. For some of us, it's, for a while, I used to get validation from helping people, right? So it's a good thing helping people and achieving and helping clients and creating breakthroughs, but at the end of the day, I was addicted to it. I needed to create results for them because I needed validation for myself. And guess what? In the long run, it made me more anxious, it made me more guilty, it made me more doubtful, right? And here's where masculinity comes into the play too, right? And you know, whether you're a guy or a girl, we all have a masculine side to ourselves. We all have a feminine side and a masculine side. And the most effective, happy, productive people are those that, that allow the balance of masculine and feminine. And your masculine energy is, it is, the, it is the creator, it is the doer. It is the version of yourself that will say, this is who I am and I'm going to stand firm in it regardless of what you think of me, right? Masculine energy is formidable, it's strong, it's self-validating, it is self-reliant. So, 
Can you see how validation directly pulls the carpet out of your masculine energy? Your ability to create, stake your claim and say, this is who I am, this is what I'm doing, this is what I'm going after, this is the life I'm building, this is the business I'm building, right? But when we are addicted to validation, when we need someone out there, whether it's a dollar sign or an amount of likes on a picture or someone admiring us at the gym or whatever, when we need something outside of ourselves to feel peaceful and good for a moment, we're attached to it. When we're attached to it, we're focused on it. When we're focused on it, we need it to be there. And if it's not there, we worry about it, right? So how can you be masculine? How can you be self-assertive? How can you claim who you are and be proud of it and love it and be there and stand in there of love and admiring of yourself? Not in an arrogant way, but in a self-love way. You were made yourself for a reason. Own it and love it, right? How can you do that if you're constantly guessing, oh my God, are enough people thinking nice things about me? Oh my God, do I have enough money to think I'm successful? Right? Self-doubt sets in and then you bend who you are. You start to manipulate who you are. Some of us don't even know who we actually are at our core because we're chasing validation so much. Maybe you do have a validation problem. And again, a lot of us, we do this unconsciously. We don't wake up in the morning and put on our to-do list, seek validation so that we can uh, self-sabotage, right? Like, but hopefully this video is lighting up some light bulbs in your mind. Maybe you are chasing this. And hey, newsflash, we all do this. At Wake Up Wealthy, we've helped hundreds of guys scale to the multiple six and seven figure level. And guess what? It doesn't matter what level of success you are. I know multi-millionaire 20 year olds that are actually very insecure and they're seeking validation, right? Like everybody, this is everybody, but it doesn't have to be because it's taking too much from you. I've seen guys, I've seen myself personally, detach from validation, break the addiction. And guess what? Become happier become more present, enjoy life more, become happier and more effective humans, help more people, but not, not being attached to the outcome. It's a much more peaceful way of life. And guess what? You actually get more done. A lot of people think like, oh no, if I stop seeking and chasing, I'm gonna lose out. No, you're not. Being in a state of seeking keeps you in a state of seeking. Being in a state of security and self-love and abundance and receivership keeps you in a state of accomplishment and receiving the next transformation, the next win, the next opportunity. So if you've been feeling like you're on this roller coaster of high highs and low lows, and you feel like maybe your, your masculine side has been, that fire has been getting doused and doused, maybe it's because you give a shit too much about what other people think of you. Maybe because you're defining yourself, your worth and your identity by shit outside of you that, 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 that will all disappear when you die anyway. When you can really become your own compass, and this isn't just some cliche, like this is the path to, you want peace, you want happiness, you wanna leave a lasting impact in the world with yourself, with your loved ones, with your community, whatever it may be, ditch validation, ditch validation. It's easy, you can do it. You can do it day by day by day. You can literally retrain your brain to just be calm, present, and loving. If you want trainings on how to do that, you want some meditations on how to alter your brain and your neurochemistry and your neural patterns, just go to wakeupwealthy.com. We literally have a free storehouse of trainings, meditations, hypnosis, um, performance trainings, business trainings, everything you can need to go to the seven figure level and actually build a life you love to. So if you wanna get rid of self-doubt and feel invigorated again, ditch validation. If you wanna learn how, go to wakeupwealthy.com. I'll see you in the next training.